Good morning. Woke up for eight o'clock this morning. That's a lie. <laughs> That's a lie. I'm gonna okay, you woke up for eight o'clock this morning. You woke up about five to nine. Uh, but we've had showers and the good news is first little glimpse of Budapest. No, they're not prison bars. Uh, <laughs> is it's uh, that guy has a massive bird in the car. <laughs> it's not too bad actually. Uh So we stayed in, stayed in the Marco Polo Hostel. Uh, took around 25 minutes to get from the airport in a taxi. Uh, we stayed in a four quad mixed dorm, I think it was called. It was eight, eight euro each it worked out well. No, eight British pounds. So in Huff that is like, about three and a half thousand, maybe, I'm guessing. Like that. You get like 360 huff, or it's Hungarian foreign, that's what huff stands for, Hungarian foreign. Yeah, no, it's no. actually foreign, not huff, we keep saying huff. Uh, no, yeah, we don't have clothes in. But yeah, you get 360 Hungarian foreign for every one British pound. Yeah. But we're just about to check out because we have 10 o'clock checkout times, uh, and we're going to go for breakfast. Your first look at Budapest. It's a Marco Polo hostel and it's absolutely spot on. And there's the address there. The guy, very nice guy behind the counter, has asked us to ask him if there's a nice place to go for breakfast. Recommends the coffees. <laughs> Recommends the coffees with water. I like coffee. Yeah. <laughs> going up here to find the Londis Society breakfast bar. We're going to go and have a look at this. <laughs> so there's a mix up between the languages maybe. We didn't understand his accent when we thought he said the London community uh, cafe. And he said London. He actually was saying the London coffee shop. It's just literally five minutes away from there, so it's quite a groovy action. It's quite quirky. Mm. Have you ordered? Mm. Hi, breakfast. Granola, chocolate, marmalade. Winner, winner. Get a cheap plate, yeah. Fill the stomach. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a good for breakfast we went to the London Coffee Society Cafe It's a small independent business uh, A couple of minutes walk from the Marco Polo Hostel uh, The address is 27 Dunghan Street I apologise if I've just obliterated the Hungarian pronunciation though I really am Look at us Just a couple of young backpackers on the way to our next hostel. God, like pros now. <laughs> like pros. <laughs> ha! The smiling face actually makes that stand there worth it. Our first stop of the day was to the, to the Donghang Synagogue, also known as the Great Synagogue. We chose this out of the three simply because it is the largest in Europe. What is streaking the towels? Just going. <laughs> Ask me in about ten, <laughs> and I'll be a Jew. <laughs> it's like the memorial garden. Dear God, it is. I mean, some of, some of the names are absolutely crazy. <laughs> I mean, there's, an, there's a name there that's been remembered, and she's called Fanny Culver. I mean. I don't know if it was me, but I've been changing my name. <laughs> but it's all a beautiful place. It's 
So we're in the Senegal uh, in Senegal Paul Fest, uh, doing some reading up on history in here. It's absolutely crazy uh, to believe that six thousand people in 1945 actually killed six hundred six hundred thousand. 600,000 people murdered and only 2,271 named and identified. The only way people were to get a burial was to the, the relatives or friends to actually identify or recognise them and they'd be given these little plaques with names on. So that was 600,000 people, correct me if I'm wrong. There's only that list of names and the one further just down there with 2,271 names on. About 600,000. That's crazy. Can I be a train? Oh my god, it's got all the people's names on it. Actually, it has. That's what I was, won That's what I was wondering. Every, every leaf. <laughs> And for all those that don't want to pay the ticket fee, just look for the, <laughs> look for the gates, take a picture. <laughs> Did you learn anything? Huh? Did you learn anything? Yeah. Go on, tell me. Hitler would love me. <laughs> no, I did. Honestly, did. So overall, so the whole, the whole building was built and the whole temple was built in 1931 in memory of all Jewish soldiers killed in World War I. Uh, in 1944 it became the first Budapest ghetto where authorities crammed 70,000 people into the whole area in inhumane conditions and then mass murders happened in the courtyard. This makes uh, one of the most important Hungarian Holocaust memorials. Absolutely crazy. Think about the world how it was. What merch have you found there, Katie? <laughs> Stayed on, is it? <laughs> Told she's got to wait in line. She's got too many sins that a single session can take care of. <laughs> I'm walking ten steps behind him for a reason. <laughs> With his little Jew cap on. <laughs> Found a new way out of that. Oh, that schnoz. <laughs> do you know the way? I said, I do. 
Get out. <laughs> Katie's trying to work out how to rent a bike. <laughs> I figured out how it'll work them. Give me a minute. Eight hours later. How long are we looking at getting 90 minutes? The ride's not too bad either. So, in here what, is the central market? Yeah. yeah Kay's just been knocked over by a tram on this. <laughs> it dinged at me. Always oh, stay safe, go for the green man. <laughs> just because we're in a different country, it doesn't change anything. Slashing. A bit bigger than the Dundas. <laughs> On the ground floor of Central Market, you'll find bakeries, butchers, spice shops, and fruit and veg stalls. Although I'm not quite sure what they put in the grow bags over here because their veg and fruit are huge, nothing like I've seen before. On floor one, you'll find all your souvenir things and eateries. You should think of a, a strategy on how to walk around it before walking around four times and not realize. <laughs> Wow. Right, a thousand letters over there. Get a sharpen as a girl with it. <laughs> oh. oh yeah, let me see the size of sharpen. <laughs> Time to get Luke's one of them. Just lives on Snapchat this one. <laughs> Fun fact though, right? Did you know the Rubik's Cube? Was invented by the Hungarians? I did. You told me the Nicoles have been married probably. Oh, no! Well, it is. Which we did do. Is it actually? So, is this what they look like? I want to go. Not used to seeing one this size. Handcrafted that. I'm going to take a picture. Got some you, wood there. Yeah, <laughs> actually, could get lost in this marketplace. I don't even know where I'm going. Where's the view? I don't know. You, you said cut straight across. I mean, come out of the thing, but now we've walked right, straight across, so we're going back over there. Yeah, we'll go back out work because I had some pencils. What? So much good food. Yeah, doing what I want. Here we are. Unless you can have a sweet tooth. Now you want diabetes. <laughs> the size of that. Get one of those, but with banana and strawberry. Thank you. Except this? Please. Uh, have, we, have we got any of the homemade lemonade? Means for orange lemonade? Orange. Orange, please. If you do go to the Central Market, I do strongly recommend you try the homemade lemonade. It's amazing. Then again, so is all the food available. Oh, I'm not going to lie, that, that looks mint, that. It's just a big straight light in another. See the difference in the clouds, man. Has it been eating other rules of the road, team? I'm just kidding. 
<laughs> we're all gonna have to. Getting a little rainy. Ah, she is. Got to make, got to make way back. That way as well. It's how quick the weather in Jane, man. You never let bad weather ruin your trip. She's dedicated. Oh my god, how crazy, how crazy can it change, right? It's like, the road just floods so quickly. It was some of like, maybe a little more than 10 minutes ago. No more than 10 minutes ago. Look at that guy. <laughs> I thought I packed on either of these shorts and t-shirts. This is Galert Baths. That's Buddha Hill. And we're heading to Buddha Castle. Now, I've got no interesting facts to tell you at this moment, so I can't tell you any. <laughs> <laughs> Bubble girl! <laughs> the new river, isn't it? <laughs> Actually, it's crazy how many bikes and scooters are on Budapest. I mean, you just got little people going across with you and little electric scooters, man. They're really knocked over. They don't even have indicators, half of them don't have helmets. <laughs> Safety gone crazy. Tell you what, I'll be writing a strongly worded letter when I get home. <laughs> <laughs> when you're crazy and adventurous like myself, take the big steps. Sometimes you, gotta, sometimes you gotta slow it down for the ones at the back. Oh, there we go. Eventually, well done. Oh. Right, okay, my glasses aren't on, but that does look dark. Maybe you pass in that one. <laughs> Not that I'm scared, it's because safety is another, another, another way here anyway, isn't it? Oh, I used to have stairs like this. Oh. Well, I was rescuing. Are you sure? <laughs> Rescuing the princess from the tower. She liked a good hair pull as well. I couldn't climb up it, but. <laughs> no, so it wasn't you. Oh. What? Keep going. <laughs> Tell you what. We could have taken the escalator. <laughs> Where's my steps here? <laughs> oh, I'm all 14,000 now. Games begin. See my power there. Uh... Actually, get my life good, Kizzy. Huh? Sorry? Oh. 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 Didn't see that one coming. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, there's Christ, I need my shades on here. Oh, there's a thunk here. Thank you. 
Oh, I wouldn't let it fall down there. Buda Castle is absolutely huge. Give yourself plenty of time to walk around it. Uh, here's a little cheeky time lapse uh, just to show you some of the views. It's a photographer's wet dream and a video videographer. What are you doing? Yeah, okay, yeah. What are you doing? Fly with Peter, fly with Paul. <laughs> Coming back. He's rubbly. It's a story of everyone man the walk through there. They like stalk the prey like mm, that definitely is the right selfie position mm -hmm. there. <laughs> they just then they take a picture but they really want to be in it. And they're like there we go, and right there we go. You kind of form an orderly queue at some point, don't you? Yep, uh, point the finger on, that's the one. <laughs> I need to switch round. Чем класса? How, how cute is that? Eh? What? All the padlocks on the bridge. Just took a picture. This bridge is famous for one thing. Well, actually, it might be two, but one thing I know about it, I'm not sure what film it was, but Will Smith climbed it and danced on top of that bit. Or that bit, I'm not quite sure. But there's a door, and there's, a, there's plenty of people on YouTube that have actually tried to climb it. You have to climb it like four or five in the morning. I don't know, I haven't seen the door yet though. But. I'm gonna find it, I mean Kate, you're gonna find it in the morning. <laughs> Christ. Staying still. 
came and said pause for 20 minutes. <laughs> it's harder, isn't it? Harder said, harder done than said, sorry. Okay, okay he's trying to do it. I just get to draw on. Strike a pose. You know, the worst thing is <laughs> Avenue Hostel, Darbell 64. It doesn't look the best on the way, I won't lie. It doesn't look very attractive at all when you first come in. Does get better. Yeah. Come right here. That's the one. Thank you. Who right off the hill? Seeing you here. <laughs> Our accommodation for the second night we're staying at the Avenue Hostel. Uh, staying two or eight. Uh, six bed mixed storm, I believe it is. And this cost us seven eighty two each. Right. Look at all the got a room. Bargain. So much room for activities. <laughs> After a very long day, it was time for us to call it a night and get ready for day three. <laughs>